Hi, my beautiful friends. Um, I wanted to say sorry. <laughs> I know I went missing in action. Um, honestly, I give kudos to those tarot readers that are out there that can still pretty much pump out a reading and not have their own healing affect them. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit what's going on because I want to be as honest as possible. I am going to start readings again on the channel, but I'm not going to be doing horoscope. Um, and that's part of the growth that's been happening um, with me in regards to where the business is going and how things are changing very much. So it's more into coaching and healing because I, I am definitely a medicine woman and a healer. And, um, so a lot of those things are changing. And so I'm going to be doing concentrating again, more on divine masculine and divine feminine integration within yourself, no matter if you're a masculine, feminine, however you identify, but just to balance those energies within yourself. And then what's also going with collective. So it's going to be more about when, um, sacred unions and, and what I'm getting pulled to channel more than the horoscope, you know, sun, moon, rising, um, type of readings. And that's going to change. My website's already changed. I wanted to tell you a little bit about my journey, about what's been happening. Um, I met my twin flame last year, but it's not to say that I haven't been on this journey for many, many years. I knew since I was little that I was a twin. I knew that there was a great, amazing love that's out there and that the way that relationships are on this planet, I always had this feeling like, um, this just doesn't feel right. Like even, you know, growing up, I didn't want to get married. I didn't want to do that, but I too got lost in my twenties, you know, in this world and the conditioning. Um, I closed off a lot of my abilities for most of my twenties, um, to do earth stuff. I got married, had kids, did all of that. Right. But, um, I've had a lot of experience in relationships. I've dated both genders, <laughs> dated everybody basically. Um, and so when I met my twin last year, I mean, I wasn't even physically attracted to him because I was dating women at the time, but healing twins bring like massive healing to you. And, and again, if you go back and look at one of my videos, um, I talked about how his hug just healed a lot of my own trauma. Um, and something happened in this past year, uh, somebody very close had passed away on his side that I was able to channel and bring that person out of a coma and help heal that connection for him. And so a lot of that's happened. Um, we're not in communication. He's decided to be with somebody else who is a soulmate and there is a soulmate karmic type of connection too, not just karmic. This person is a soulmate. I think she's cool ass. Like truly I connect to her energy. I think she's cool shit. Um, he wanted to work with both of us together and spirit has specifically given me a past life during an ayahuasca retreat before that to not do that. And then he, of course, the next day he messages me and says he wants to do that. <laughs> and I'm like, no, can't do that. So I wanted to, um, reiterate like the amount of pain that I, that I was in. And it's not because of him. Um, twins just activate the pain that's already inside of you, the healing that's already inside of you that you need to go through. And there are a lot of things that I had to heal. Um, I have commitment issues, commitment phobe. I've been alone. My most, uh, since my marriage, I've only had one, um, two serious relationships, which was, you know, I left my ex, my marriage over 11 years ago. And so in between that, I've only had two serious relationships and they were with women and they were, they were psychotic. No, one was calm. The other was psychotic. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's really scared me off commitment issues, but there's a lot of stuff that's been healing. And so I understand why this is not coming together with him first. I've also been channeled a lot in where the, the mission is going and I've got to focus on that. Um, and really be okay and happy for him. That's been very difficult for me. Um, not, ha not that difficult to feel happiness for him, but my own pain in regards to, you know, being shown this huge calling with him and him not beside me doing the calling with me. And it's like, okay, but I've got to start it. So I'm healing the masculine energy within me and then that will heal him. And then that will, I know eventually it will come together. I, I, I've been shown that and, and I truly believe in sacred love and I totally believe in, um, a sacred union. I don't believe in romantic love at all, which is why I have a hard time dating. <laughs> uh, some guy picked me up at the gym last week and it was all because of my physical appearance. And it's like, I can't deal with that. I've never dated because of physical appearance. So a lot of what this channel is going to be about is to, 
um, show you guys how to do that, how to tap into your intuitive abilities, how to heal the masculine and feminine inside of yourself, and how to cultivate and manifest out your butt, basically. And I work with really highly sensitive people. Uh, my clients are all highly sensitive, uh, really ready for the next journey um, leg in their and and to be catalyzed. Because if you work with me, I'm telling you, I'm going to bring up your dark, your dark shit. <laughs> like it's, I, I am, I, I am. That's just how it is because I've had to go through deep trauma, deep darkness, and I've been able to walk the fine line of death. Okay. I've been able to walk into darkness and walk into the light. And I was shown that on ayahuasca, a scorpion, um, presented itself to me in the middle of a ceremony at ayahuasca. I'm like, Oh my God, this scorpion is here. Um, I've, I've been shown by spirit that there's very few of people that can really walk into darkness. And I'm talking about evil, Watiko, dark, sinister type of energy. Okay. There is a lot of that. Um, and how to be powerful in that. I know a lot of people think that shadow work is just pain that's within you, but, um, there's also a matrix control system that a lot of people don't understand of what's going on. So I'm going to get into all of that. Um, I'm still going to be doing the journey home show. I'm still going to be, um, putting out videos. Uh, I just had to get my button gear and really like heal from this pain that I, I felt with him. Um, I feel him all the time. We have a very clear psychic connection, uh, telepathy has been proven between the two of us that happened in January. We both felt this third energy that came in. We're like, what is that? Um, I saw him in his truck when he was about to text. Like we have this crazy cool ass. We are so psychically connected, um, more than any, like, well, he's my twin. So, um, yeah. And, and I want to help these sacred connections come into fruition. I really do. And I'm not doubting that he, um, he won't eventually be here on the channel. I, I have total faith in that. Um, and that we will be working together. It's just, there's a lot of healing that's still happening. And you guys know how that works. Um, yeah, so I'm taking in and the healing the masculine, really getting into this, uh, really teaching about plant medicine, the earth, honoring the planet, being back into alignment with, with our earth, um, and to recognize what's happening in the new age community as well. Okay. Because a lot of the new age community is all about love and light. And that's, if let's be honest, there are all kinds of frequencies of energy. And if you really want to be a master of energy and how to work with your abilities, your natural sensitivity and your psychic abilities, um, then you're going to have to learn how to work in like all kinds of energy. Like you really are. You can't just be like, Oh, everything's great. If you do that, you're turning a blind eye to the darkness. And a lot of dark things can mimic light things. It's a fine discernment that a lot of people don't understand, but our greatest teachers talk about that in regards to what real discernment it is. And it's the fine line of dark and light and be able to walk along that. Um, I will, you know, bring up things in you if you do, if you do work with me. So I wanted to put that out there. I am going to do some videos, um, tonight, today, uh, in regards to the twin flame collective and what's going on with that. But that's where my journey has been. Um, I spent a month in Mexico healing, doing ayahuasca. Um, and keep in mind guys, ayahuasca is a very powerful, powerful medicine. Um, I'm very good at working in the medicine and very good at my channel. I don't get siphoned by other darker entities out there. I see other people getting siphoned with it. Um, so that's going to be part of my work too, is to teach you how to have a divine clear channel because I hate to say it, but energy is not respected in our new age community at all. It's really not. And people think, Oh, I'm connected. If I have a good intention, I'm connecting to the light. Not true. If you have darkness that is not healed within yourself, you will attract that into your life. Even if it comes in a form of energy, even if it comes in the form of a spirit guide. So there, there's a lot that happens in energy and in psychic abilities that a lot of people aren't aware of. And that's what I'm here to teach. So I want to put some more coaching out here, um, about that. And yeah. And more about the twin flames and the sacredness. And I'm in a much better place. It, it was devastating for me, you guys, I'm very sensitive. And, um, 
basically I was lied to for an entire year of another relationship that was going, basically, okay, I wasn't in a third party situation. I was basically in a four or five party. I was in a five party situation. <laughs> okay. Like, this, like, and I don't do that at all. And, uh, and I'm, you know, but just because of my twin, I let a lot of my own boundaries down, you know? And, um, and it's fine. It's not his fault. It's not my fault. It's because we're reflecting our own pain back. You know, I had a lot of internal rejection of my own body, my own self-esteem that I thought I had worked on. And I realized, you know, this is the greatest connection I'll ever have in my life. Even if I never talked to him again, the telepathy is so there. The psychic ability is there. Um, I, I'm fine having him in every other way, except physically. Because <laughs> that's just how it is. And, um, yeah. And I had to really come to that place. Um, I'm good. And I'm very enough strong feminine, uh, divine feminine power now. Uh, but this was a huge transition for me and I'm sorry, you guys, that it's taking me this long to get here. Um, I, I, oh, it was my own shame pattern that I felt like, oh my God, I'm supposed to be this strong woman and I can't even put a video out and people are dependent on me and look at this, like how, you know, and, I'm sorry, guys. That's my own shit that I have to work through. And, um, I'm, I'm healing too and doing my best. So I'm sorry. This hair is like driving me insane. <laughs> so that's, that's where things are at. And I just wanted to say, say sorry. And, um, I couldn't, I couldn't face, I, I basically took a breather. The only thing from my business, the only thing that I was doing was people, uh, by word of mouth. And I have regulars, people just kept booking me. And so I kept doing the readings and my coaching clients. Um, but I did not build up my platform over the summer. So, but it's, I'm back and I will do my best to communicate again in the future if anything happens, but I feel much stronger. I've done massive healing. I feel much better. So I'm back. So I'm also taking up ukulele. So I'll play you guys a little something. I've kind of, it's a re rendition of a mantra that I've been learning. I've kind of changed it up a bit. So maybe I'll just play a little bit and take you guys out and then uh, stay tuned for some videos tonight. Okay.
Thank you guys. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.